guys, I'm going to be uh, doing a dash. I am scheduled from 6 to 10. I never go till 10 o'clock. I usually go to about 9. But I'm starting early today at 4.54. Normally I don't start till uh, about 5.15, 5.30, 5.45ish. So I'm, I'm really starting early today. We're gonna see how many dashes we can get today. Now my goal is normally $50. So maybe going out early, I can hit that goal quicker and get back home. Or maybe I can get a lot and get a little bit over that goal. So another day I don't have to be out so much. We're not going to talk about the TIPSs from the college students. Um, I know they're college students, but if they can order DoorDash, then they should be able to give a little TIPS. See what we get. No! Since we're waiting on our first offer, for some reason, I think it might be a while. And I'm driving my route. Now, I have a route that I go through to see if I can get my first offer. There are certain restaurants along the way, fast food places, that I normally get a ding on first. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. There is a Chinese food restaurant that sometimes gives me my first ding. And then there's a Mexican restaurant um, called Diablo's. It's a chain that sometimes gives me my first ding. There is um, Zaxby's. I don't like getting Zaxby's in the week because it goes to a local college. I don't like delivering to the college. No offense, USC Aiken. But it it's hard to find where to drop it off, and then they don't meet you at the right place. And we're not going to talk about the TIPSs from the college students. I know they're college students, but if they can order DoorDash, then they should be able to give a little TIPS. Look! Just saying. Or TIP. Doesn't have to be big. because. Zaxby's is really close, so whatever. Then I make my rounds up Richland Avenue, which has lots of fast food restaurants on each side. Um, and then I go through downtown Aiken, making my way, making my way downtown up through the south side now, which has a lot of restaurants, Whiskey Road. Normally, I'll get a bite before I get to Whiskey Road. Yesterday, my uh, first bike was McDonald's. I didn't get another one until once I delivered it. I didn't get another one until I got to Panera, which is quite a way up Whiskey Road. It brought me all the way back to almost where I live. So I went a different way and went North Augusta. And I did very good in North Augusta yesterday. I am blessed. It might take me there today. Who knows? It's a little early for me to be out, so I, I don't know this time. Normally, like I said, really 5.45 is normally when I get out, and 6 o'clock is when it really gets, you know, hopping. So I don't know. If, if I go that complete route, I normally come back down Richland, and I will find somewhere to park because I'm not going to waste gas going back and forth, back and forth. With all my rambling... It is 5 o'clock, and we have not got our first offer. But that's okay. But that's okay. Hopefully, it'll ding any minute, and uh, we'll be off to pick up some food. All right. We got our first order for the night. It's going to be Pizza Hut. But if nobody will let me over, I may never get there. They got a personal pan pizza and a side. So, oh, it's one of the my boxes. So it, it's not, it's like this big. And we got to leave at my door. Hopefully they don't come out while I'm doing it. We'll find out. All righty. Got the goods, my handy dandy bag, and off we go. Didn't have to wait at all. It was ready. Sign the book. Off go. Off go. <gasps> There's a gnat in here. Um, yeah. I didn't have to wait at all. It was absolutely wonderful. Love it. And just so y'all know, well, 
where I picked up, I used to walk here with my mom and eat at the Chinese food place. So I'm very familiar with this area. Brings back memories. So here we go, we're gonna go deliver our Pizza Hut. Okay, delivered it. Um, it wasn't leave at the door. Young man came out and got it. Um, once I saw his age, I knew then there wasn't gonna be a tip. It is what it is. Once you get to doing DoorDash, even for a month or two, when you see the customer, you know um, right away. So now um, we've got another dash. I've got to be very careful though because this road is horrible. I mean, horrible. So off to Wendy's we go. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better. So I picked up from Wendy's. They have two Frosties and food in my handy dandy baggie. I had to walk all the way back in to make sure that there were straws because normally they put them on top of the uh, drinks. Of course, this time they didn't. So I wanted to make sure that they did have straws and they do. They did have it ready. So two for two, both places had it ready. That's doing really good. I think it's because they still have the big teens there and like after seven they don't. I don't know. But walking. Ooh, and I had to part way far away because Wendy's is busy. I'm telling you. And you know what the funny thing is? Is I have been talking to my phone this entire time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh jeez. <laughs> but yeah, we're headed to uh, deliver the Wendy's. Let's see. This one is leave at my door. Let's see if I actually get to leave it or take a picture of the actual door. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna take you with me on the drop off for this one. And the reason why, because it's in a bougie neighborhood, is word of the day. What is it? Bougie. <laughs> bougie? Bougie. What's a bougie? Bougie's fancy. Fancy? Definitely don't want to run over either one of these bougie kids. Real bougie, actually. <laughs> Real bougie. <laughs> okay. I mean, bougie. Bougie, very close together, bougie. It's on the right, so it should be easy to find. I, I do like easy to find houses. Your destination is on the right. Leave at my door. Leave at my door. Okay. I will. Be right back. <sighs> wasn't that bad. I actually got to take a picture. I got $2 for that one. I think it was like at, uh, at least five miles. You know it is what it is. So we've had two dashes so far. <laughs> We'll wait on number three. Alrighty. So I got one for Zaxby's. And while I was getting one for Zaxby's, I also got one for Firehouse Subs. So we're going to go pick up Firehouse Subs after I zip this up. And again, three for three. Zaxby's, it was ready. It was on the counter when I went in. So three for three. We're going to head to Firehouse, and we're going to see if we can make it four for four. Maybe our luck has changed. We're going to hope. Alrighty. Like I said, um, the Zaxby's, I think she got a three nibblers and looks like lemonade. Uh, honestly, I don't remember. Uh, was ready when I got there. Wendy's, ready when I got there. Pizza Hut, ready when I got there. Went into Firehouse Subs. Not ready when I got there. They got two subs. Not that difficult. I had to wait probably, Continue what, on US 1 North maybe 10 minutes miles. on them? So, there you go. They broke the streak, which kind of stinks, because we were doing real good. But uh, let me explain what happened. So, when I got Zaxby's order, and I confirmed it, I got an add-on order because I think on this one, one, literally Firehouse Subs is like 0.2 miles away from, uh, Firehouse is 0.2 miles away from Zaxby's. 
And if I'm correct, they're going on the, I think they're going to the same road. That one's just farther down, I think. Or they're really close together. That's normally why you get stacked orders. So let's hope that, you know, these two go real good. It was good to get orders. So uh, number three will be Zach's Bees, which is rhymes, pretty cool. And number four will be Firehouse Subs. Let's see. So Zach's Bees is hand it to me. Hopefully it will be hand it to me and not leave it at my door. Because sometimes they'll message you and say, leave it at my door. We'll see. I know that I can look somehow and see what the what the customer for Firehouse wanted. I'll tell you uh, once I've delivered both what they wanted, the Firehouse people. But let me deliver these two and I'll come back at you and tell you how it went. Alrighty. So, I... Have delivered both Sharp of them. Left. It was difficult finding the first one, feet. but the gentleman was really, really sweet, and I messaged him, and he helped me. He was really, really nice. The second one was just as hard to find. I had to walk and make sure it was 504. He wanted it at the back door. I found it. It was great, and I got some awesome tips. So, uh, I don't think they'll ever see this video, but to both of you, right onto Hampton Avenue, thank you so much. Y'all made my night. Uh, there's always like one or two is just awesome. So thank you, gentlemen. I don't know if the second one was a gentleman, but the first one was a gentleman and, and I greatly appreciate it. So um, right when I put the order down, I got another one. So we're going to Popeye's Chicken. I have secured the Popeye's. And by the way, it wasn't supposed to be ready until after a time that I got there. But I got here because I haven't left yet. So to be completely honest, it was ready. They still had it ready before the pickup time. And normally Popeye's can be a little bit one of the slow ones. They were not today. Boy, does it smell delicious. I love Popeye's chicken. If you've never had Popeye's chicken, where you been? <laughs> it's delicious. And they got Cajun fries and biscuits. <laughs> I prefer the red beans and rice, but to each their own. <laughs> uh, but I do recommend trying it. Um, we are going to a road that I've never heard of. And the dot... When I looked, doesn't look to be on the Head map. Northeast toward York Street, Northeast. That scares me just a little bit because that means it might be a dirt road. Dirt roads don't scare me, and at least it's still daylight. Head that makes me feel a little bit better. Hopefully, I'll be able to find it. Um, it's turn right onto York Street, Northeast. Like for then example, the gentleman with the Zaxby's, he answered the um the message. So I don't mind. I don't mind looking and searching. Um, it's when they don't answer the message that it makes it kind of hard. I don't really like to call. The other night I had to deliver um, to a, like a At Northeast, Kimberly North Clark, Street, which is a big, you know, Turn place left, around here. One, and I needed to turn at the first truck entrance, which I did. But I didn't see anybody. And come to find out, it was the, the guard, the security guard at the guard shack. Continue on US one and for one mile. she was checking in an 18-wheeler at the time. And I called her and she goes, yep, you're at the right spot. Let me just finish and I'll come out and get it. It, it was right. And again, I was looking at my phone, but I was making sure I was going the right way. There again, she gave very good instructions. I just didn't, I wasn't sure that she was the security guard or not. I've done that at CVS too. Just want to, I just want to make sure that I give it to the right person or the right house. Um, it's easy in a subdivision because you can clearly see each number. Well, most of the time, sometimes you can't. I just have a fear of giving it to the wrong house and getting that phone call. Did you give it to the wrong house? Well, it wasn't clearly marked. So there you go. But I don't want to do that. I try to be a good person. But yeah, we're fixing to turn onto a road that has many roads that go off of it that are in the boonies. So we've had bougie and boonies. I do prefer the boonies because 
there are a lot of nice people in the boonies. There's not as many nice people Turn in, right in the boonies. There's just not. So we're going to go deliver some Popeye's chicken to people in the boonies. Oh, and there's a good chance I might get to pass my daddy and tell Continue him hello. Boy, we went from miles. really happy to really morbid. <laughs> But that's okay. It's not morbid because he's in a way better place than this old earth. Again, morbid. But I will check on you guys in just a little bit. I changed my mind on going to the boonies. This is out of my zone. It, it's way far out. Way far out when you're out of your zone. And there was no tip. And it was down a... Not a dirt road, a sand road that you could easily get uh, stuck in. I really should have refused it for my safety. You know what? But next time I could do that, because again, it said, leave at my door. And the person was standing out there waiting on it. Now I have no proof. I handed it to her. She could easily call and say, she never, she, she never left it at my door. I, I really think from now on, I'm just going to say, I'm going to have to take a picture of it at your door. Because in the instructions, it said, leave at the door. I can't hand it to you. It sounds mean, but not leaving a tip for as far as I went it is not right either. If it was half a mile, whatever. But we're talking, it's not understandable, but from Popeye's to all the way here, it was a, it, it was, it was a good trip. Now it wasn't an hour, but it, it for for the dis, for the distance, it, it was a good trip for DoorDash, and for someone who got something from Firehouse to where his house was, and gave ten dollars, that that wasn't a long drive. It really wasn't. It was maybe a four or five dollar tip. So, I mean, at, at least give four or five dollars for that long of a trip. No, thank you. No, nothing. Grabbed it from my hand and that was it. Very rude. And on this road, I wish you could see, I've had the, the, the speed limit is 55 on this road. I'm going 50. And the nice person probably ahead of me is going about that. And everybody that's gotten behind me has passed us. And there's people in the other lane that are passing us. And people are just, they're, they're not, nobody's patient nowadays. Now, sometimes I get impatient too. I get impatient a lot of the times. But not when my life's on the line. That's ridiculous. It just, that really irritated me. It was an unsafe road for me to go down. I... I went really far and no tip. And I was hoping because I went out earlier that I could get home earlier. And it doesn't even look like I'm going to be able to do that. Because what did I say in the beginning? My goal is $50. I'm over halfway there, but I thought I'd be there by now so that I could go home. And it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I, I just, for one, I know now that I do not, need to go out at 5. 545 is early enough. Don't need to go out super, super early. There's no reason to because they don't really start ordering until later. This is way out. So I'm probably not going to get anything until I get right on into the city, which is probably another six, five or six miles. I'm just really disappointed about that one. You know, I was going, I was going pretty good. And then, you know, it just, it, it hits you kind of hard. My first order, there was no tip. And then that order, there was no tip. Yeah, it just kind of gets you. I got about, let's say 14 more dollars that I need to get to make my goal. A goal. It's not quite $14, but we're going to say 14. And technically that can be one order. Just one. We shall see. It could also be four orders <laughs> or even more, <laughs> but we're going to see. We're going to see if we can get to it. Normally, I don't dash till nine. Yesterday and the day before, it was 829 when I stopped, but it's 830. We're going to see. I, 
I wanted to be home at seven to tell you the truth. I thought I'd be so busy, you know, at five to six that I'd be like, ah, I'm going to, I'm going to have some good ones and I'm going to be able to get home early, like at seven 30. That's not going to happen unless I get a really, really good one. And it's going to be close, close. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, but good vibes. We're going to try. Well, look at there. I don't even think you can see me. That's a good thing. I scare people. I don't know if y'all knew that I got Pizza Hut. So I dropped off the Pizza Hut. $3. 25, 26, 27. $3.27. 27 cents away. $3.27 away from my goal. Magnet it. We're going we're gonna to get it. We're going to get it. We're, we're going to do it. I literally need one more. I'm not lucky to be like $2.38, but we're, we're going to do it. I need one more. Oh, we're going to do it. We are going to do it, but don't know where I'm at. So I got to find directions on how to get back to the mainland first. Oh, well, if I keep going, I'm, oh, I don't like where I'm going to end up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my little map here and I'm going to map us back toward home. So we have done, I believe, seven. I believe seven. Let me look. Doobly do. I'm at a stop sign. Seven. Seven deliveries. We're going to see if we can get the eighth one and finish up for the night. Let's see. No, no, no. 